Hey there, everyone. How you doing? It's Jeff C. It is Sunday, May the 4th, and uh, I have just come across one of the most astonishing examples of monarch programming I've ever seen in pop culture. Easily the most astonishing. Yes, indeed. I'm talking about the latest Miley Cyrus video, which is aptly and ironically titled Tongue Tied. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with monarch programming, monarch programming is the method of mind control used by the CIA, used by... Uh, the hierarchy that runs the United States, the, the bankster global elite to control and build sex slaves and assassinators and all kinds of different other uh, people that they can control. Um, basically, the whole program uh, started, well, it's been around for a long time, go back to Egyptian times and satanic sort of uh, lore where they used all kinds of torture to control minds, to split personalities, modern day uh, mind control is really the baby of Joseph Mengels, uh, one of the most sadistic and monstrous Nazis that has ever existed. Of course, all those Nazis that we were told were taken care of were actually brought over to the United States during Operation Paperclip. And they came up with MK Ultra, which eventually uh, was supposedly disbanded, but of course we know it wasn't. And that eventually became monarch programming. Now, of course, people who see videos and see all kinds of celebrities with butterflies will know that um, the monarch butterfly is the symbol of monarch programming. In today, this video deals with beta programming. It's something I don't like to talk about, but I have to talk about it here. Um, I will give you beta programming in a nutshell, how it's done. There's many different methods, but basically, they take a young child, it's always a female because we're creating sex slaves here, and most of the celebrities that you know uh, in Hollywood are indeed monarch programming victims. And um, the way it works is they'll take a child, it's usually, they have to be around three years old, right around the time when they become cognitive, they will put them in a room, uh, and inside the room there will be a cage, and inside the cage there'll be another child, just like them, uh, another girl. And they will do the most unspeakable, uh, horrific acts of torture to this child within the cage. Outside the cage will be cats, and cats will be running free. And the uh, the intended mind control victim will be forced to watch the extreme torture and eventually death of the child within the cage. The whole idea is to break them down and they'll say things like, would you rather be a girl, a little girl inside the cage, or would you rather be a kitten, a cat, a cat that is free and that is sexual. Um, they create split personalities by doing this and um, are thus able to control the uh, victim for their life, basically. A good example would be Miley uh, Cyrus, of course, uh, Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, um, Anna, whatever her name, the Playboy person there. There's lots of different examples that are out there. Most of the celebrities, you know, as I say, are part of this monarch programming, and uh, it is quite despicable indeed. This video is all about beta programming, and we will take a look at it right now. So I'm playing this video very slow. I do not have the uh, audio um, set for it. I'm going to try and go through it and show you what these images are, are all about here and why this is such a disturbing video. Now it starts off here, this backwards talking as the video is coming out, which is Satanism. They like to talk backwards. Quentin Jones is the director of this. I will hopefully be able to touch on her afterwards. Now, what you'll see here is Miley Cyrus's head separated from her body and um, basically imprisoned there, as you can see. Her head being separated from her body basically uh, symbolizes the mind control, right? And then the split levels, as you can see here, represent the different personalities that they're able to create. Of course, now you see the different heads. These are the different personalities that are created through beta programming. Um, each of them is completely under control. They are triggered by uh, words, uh, images, symbols. Um, something could pop out and all of a sudden the mind control victim will go into a state of being controlled. So Miley Cyrus here, you, of course you had the pyramid, of, which uh, symbolizes the Illuminati. Um, and you will see a lot more of this Illuminati symbolism in this video here. The heads all turning the same way all under control. Of course, here you get the cat. The cat represents here the beta programmed sex slave. And 
you she cannot see with her own eyes these are all different personalities that she is has here and each one of them is not her own personality it's beyond her control she can't see with her own eyes she's seeing with the eyes of her sex slave personality tongue tied here the tongue comes out in a sexual way a sexual torture way and then it looks to me like these are candies so that is uh candy wrappers or something i could be wrong on that um but that's what I see there, of course, to represent that she is a sex slave and she is there to, to provide pleasure. Back to the cats on the head. And then, of course, a very disturbing image here of the Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club is a huge part of uh, most of these uh, stars do come from the Mickey Mouse Club. That's where Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberflake and the like all come from. They have all gone under severe mind control. They are all MK Ultra Monarch Programming victims. The one eye symbol, of course, is here. Um, and as you see, the victim or the face here looks of someone who is in extreme anguish, which would represent the torture that they go through. Um, and then, of course, here you go, even more. These are the butterfly. The butterfly, you can see here, now the eyes have become butterfly wings. This is monarch programming being shown to you very clearly. Now her face again. She is completely controlled here. She doesn't even have arms. You will see that time and time again. Um, Nikki Minash has a very, very disturbing image of herself without any arms and she is indeed another monarch programmed uh mind control victim so this represents that her body is not in her control she is completely under the control of her master or her god the person who brought her up basically here is her her split personality coming forth this is her beta programming she has got the eyelashes representing the kitten this is her sexual um, personality that is completely under control and as you see the the uh, eyebrows grow here into almost like thorns uh, this is very satanic as well you can see there's a butterfly on the side of her head as well which is opening up which is representing her rebirth that is why they choose the monarch uh, butterfly as the symbol for monarch programming because the monarch butterfly starts off as a worm and then eventually when it goes through its transformation, uh, spreads its wings and flies. And that is what they do with these mind control victims. Now you'll see her body. Of course, she's practically naked with black tape all over her, representing the physical torture and bonding. Her body now being separated into different portions this is just more of the split personality of course she has one eye covered representing the illuminati and the elite satanic elite who control our planet here again she is shown in um she's got black lace on her face this is another of her, her monarch programming kitten beta kitten personalities here and uh, she is completely a slave a sex kitten here going upside down like this um once again we have the butterflies coming right out of her eyes and it's very very disturbing here she is being controlled her legs being pushed open this represents that she has no control over her body that she is completely under the control of her handler whoever her handler is could be her father for all we know um more bondage here more representing complete control of her body she is not at all in control of her body she is a monarch program sex slave here are the split personalities none of them uh, all the eyes that see with these split personalities is not her own eyes this is disassociated with her own personality she won't even remember this that is how mind control works and you can see with the tongue and all that the fellatio this is all representing sex slaves again with the back turned now, once again, the, the kitten, the beta programming, mouth completely closed, representing that she is completely under control. All the split personalities, they make several split personalities within each victim. This is how they control them. That's why they use the rainbow as a symbol. The rainbow is often a symbol because it represents all the different split personalities. She's bonded. Um, she is nothing but a sex slave the arms opening up there representing the butterfly wings coming forth 
Again, more bondage here. Um, the head being separated from the body. She is not in control whatsoever of her body. She has no, and these are all the different split personalities as you can see. And she has no control over her body whatsoever. Splitting, once again, the one eye being shown. More sexual, all sexual sort of uh, poses in this, this video. There's so much to it that's going on here. Completely controlled here as the candy, uh, looks like a candy as I said, falls off and the tongue comes forth. The tongue which is there for pleasure, sexual pleasure, right? The eyebrows, Satanism, the monarch pro, uh, butterfly on the side of her head there. Here, as you can see, she's naked and in several uh, positions, always bonded. As you can see, there are things uh, tied around her her uh, feet and her legs. Um, this represents, obviously, all the sexual trauma that they put on these people. They make them sex slaves. And as you can see, her mouth opens up here. And there comes the body through, right? Which is representing her complete mind control that she is under she's a slave her eyes are even blacked out here she can't see what's going on she has no control over herself keep showing the eyebrows raising forth like that all blackened of course the black representing the torture the the brutality that they go under this is also very much showing how they program people um i think that's the point of this video is to show the the torture that they go through without really showing torture right and you see her her face reacting here to it and then her mouth opens her eyes open she is completely controlled here this represents the the uh the full blossoming of the monarch controlled victim with the heart the white eyes very very disturbing of course the triangles controlled her mouth is covered her face is covered really really disturbing video so many things so much symbolism in here yeah that's a, a bizarre thing here a sequence of course this is all the split personalities the mind control right she has no control over her body she is a complete victim of this mind control and she's covering her body with paint, which represents that it's not her body anymore. She's taking on a different personality, right? Stripping her old body and this new sexual slave, this woman who is nothing but a slave for her handlers. That is all she is at this point. And she's pretty much naked here. She's topless, as you can see, and covering her body more in the paint. As you can see, she's even more ensnared very very disturbing video and i haven't even really examined the lyrics to this yet because i haven't been able to find them online as of yet by the end she's completely covered in black and it, you can see the, the the pain that's in her face here as she's going through this transformation because it's extremely extremely painful they're constantly being tortured in so many different ways Psychologically, um, with light, with heat, with all kinds of different methods, electroshock, um, just good old-fashioned torture um, that has been perfected over thousands of years. Then the blackness is completely taken over her. Then there she is with her shock, her surprise, but it isn't really her because it's not her eyes that are seeing. She can't see what she's become. She's horrified and shocked at what she is, but she can't even see it, right? And then the eyes representing all the different personalities. Filmed by Quentin Jones. It's extremely, extremely disturbing. This is all about mind control. This is the most outward sort of monarch programming video I have ever seen. I have never seen anything so in your face. Even the little Wayne videos that I've covered before aren't this um, out there in your face. I really feel for this girl and all the victims of Monarch programming and uh, I hope that the person that made this video, Quentin Jones, is trying to reach us and tell us of the horrors that are going on. Anyways, there's so much more to talk about but I'll probably be out of time so uh, leave your comments below and have a wonderful day if you can. <laughs>